echoing constituents' complaints of alleged over-policing by state troopers in South Dallas, Councilman Adam Basildua has a message for DPS. I am now asking that DPS move their troopers from South Dallas and get back to the drawing board with DPD to determine where our added resources will be better served. The move coming on the heels of a meeting with DPS and concerned residents and business owners like Tabitha Wheeler Reagan. I, I meet Malcolm X. Why do I have to take back to home to avoid getting stopped by DPS? Why would you they're stopping, they're stopping people not, they don't have even a, a reason why they're stopping I agree, totally. Shanda Higgins supports the call for a DPS exodus from his neighborhood. It feels excessive, it feels heavy handed. It feels like South Dallas is being punished for the increase of crime. District Attorney John Crusoe isn't calling for DPS to go away, but says traffic stops won't solve the problem. There is no correlation between traffic stops and what you were supposed to be here to do which is to help drive down the murder rate. Crusoe pushing back on the notion that 71 illegal guns off the streets could in turn help bring down crime, perhaps even murders. Well, you don't know that that gun would have been used in a murder, number one, okay? I understand taking the gun if it's an illegal gun. You take the gun because it's an illegal gun, not because you have evidence that it's about to be used to commit a murder. Some say it's about having law enforcement with a personal connection to the city and its residents. If there's going to be a police presence, it needs to be the Dallas Police Department police presence who's been trained to deal with the community, and who knows the community better.